I just wanted to do a quick video on the holster that I decided to get for my uh, Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. Um, this is the holster that I got with it and it's uh, 1791 is the name of it. I just bought it just whenever I bought the gun this is what they had available. And I, it's a, I mean it's an alright holster, it conceals fine and everything like that, uh, but it's pretty thick because they they sew, they sew, sewed, sewed in this extra layer of leather just to make it prop open better to where it stays open whenever you hold, uh, re, whenever you reholster it stays open better. So uh, they put that on there, but it makes it a little bit thicker, but it also makes it more durable. But I just don't like that it's thicker. I also don't like that you can you see how the trigger is. I mean, you could get your finger pretty well. You can get your finger on that trigger very easy, and I'm not going to because this is a loaded gun. But you can get your finger on that trigger um, while, it, while it's in the holster. So I kind of don't like that about it. Uh, so I decided to get a different holster. Um, but like I said, this one conceals fine. So as you can see, I'm wearing it right now. And it conceals just fine. I mean, I don't think you can see the handle sticking out or anything like that. So it conceals just fine. And... Uh, because I wear it in the correct position. Whenever you have a cant to your to your holster, when your holster is canted, some people will wear it at three o'clock, but you're supposed to wear it right here so it fits your it fits your body, it fits into your back. And this is the new holster I decided to get. It's actually a De DeSantis, DeSantis, whatever the hell you want to call it. They're not the you know highest grade holster maker or whatever, top notch holster maker or whatever. But I haven't had any problems with DeSantis. You can see I have a few of their soft tuck holsters that I use for my Ruger LCP Glock 43 and for my Glock 19. And they suck for reholstering, but as far as carrying and being comfortable, they're super comfortable. I've had, I've had this one for years and years. I had it for my other gun before I had the Glock 43. And I've had this one for Eh, at least three years. Also, I have their uh, pocket holster for my Glock 43, and uh, this is my gym gun. Uh, this is the gun that I carry in my uh, carry in my sweatpants pocket because uh, I can. Uh, but it's it stays it, it draws fine and everything like that. I've had this one for years as well, and never had a problem with it. So, so far, I haven't had any problems with uh, Desantis holsters. So I decided to give this speed scabbard a try. And uh, here it is here, you see there's no extra layers of leather. It seems pretty thin and everything like that. So I like that outside the waistband, of course. And with the 1791, you notice how there's a stiff draw. It kind of hugs onto your gun. But with this one, fits nice. And when you pull it out, it just comes right out. There's no tension whenever it comes out, so. All right, and now I'm wearing it, and it doesn't feel like it's, I mean, I can feel it against my body. It feels like it's holding it against my body, so I don't think it's printing. Uh, you guys can see better than I can, but uh, once again, I'm carrying it right here at the 430 position. It's a canted holster, so that's the position I carry it, and it draws good. Give it a little twist whenever you put it in. I like this because it's covering the gun fully, so it's stopping dust from getting in here and all the areas. It's, it protects it a little bit better, and also, as you can see, it protects the trigger guard as well. So that's the new holster I decided to go with, and uh, I'm going to give it a try for a little while, uh, practice with it a little bit. I'm still practicing on my draw and everything like that, but I wanted to get a good holster that I'm actually going to carry and uh, practice with it so I can see how it's going to feel whenever I draw from it and everything like that. Uh, the only, only test you can tell if a holster is decent is by drawing it hundreds of times, you know, thousands of times out of that holster and reholstering constantly to see if there's any failure points in it, which a lot of holsters don't hold up. A lot of holsters do have failure points to where you notice after thousands of times of drawing and reholstering constantly, you start noticing leather will start folding over and going into the trigger and all sorts of crap. And um, with Kydex, you just see if it starts breaking or problems like that. So I want to give this holster a try for a while and see how it works out. And I do have some QIT holsters, I believe is what they're called, uh, FBI targets, uh, the reduced silhouette targets that I'm going to hopefully get in the mail soon because I'm planning on making a video, a uh, FBI shooting claws video that should be coming out soon if I get those uh, targets in soon. I don't know what's taking so long. I ordered them from a website called Chief. 
So if you ever order from them, just know they're slow as hell. It's been like almost two weeks and I still haven't gotten my target. So but anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.